it has been a summer and I felt as if during the season a lot of the younger players on the team uh, were very caught off guard by the Anthony Davis trade rumors. Mm -hmm. How did that affect the team? Um, you know, I think it's just a certain point where, you know, for us, it's our first time. It was our first time really just being, you know, in trade rumors, you know, in the league. You know, we're coming into the league. We have our first year. It's about development. And then, you know, you're on trade block, you know, it's kind of just happens. And, you know, for us, it was just new. You know, that's obviously the business. But, you know, you never really know what it's like or what you're going to tend to do until you're, you know, kind of in that mix. So. I remember going to a game uh, and seeing, not necessarily you, but there was a bit of, maybe a, a few days after the rumors began, there was a, this lackluster approach, um, almost a, a daze. Yeah. How does someone deal with that now? Now that you've experienced that, and it, 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 it'll happen because it's the nature of the business. How do you deal with that now? Um, I think that was like a key moment, um, you know, in my career so far. You know, I believe that I learned so much from that more than you know, anything, you know, I feel like, you know, nothing can kind of really phase me in a sense, you know, going through something like that your first time and you're in LA, like, it was so scrutinized. So for me, you know, it's like, you know, I kind of been there, done that. So like nothing can kind of really just phase me in a, in a sense, because I know if I can get through something like that and build on it, it's going to be good for me. As a young player, how difficult is it playing in Los Angeles for the Lakers? It's a different mentality I, I believe you have to have if yeah. you're going to stay here and thrive. No, for sure. You know, not everybody is, can be cut out to be a Laker. You know, it's it's a little bit, you know, harder than any other team because of all the scrutiny and, you know, being a Laker. But, um, you know, for me, I, I think that, you know, I'm, I've always been ready for it, you know, from the day I kind of got here, you know, just put my hard hat on and going to work. So. Um, you know, it's definitely not for everybody, but, you know, you have to be mentally at a level to, you know, capacitate at it. So you say you put your hard hat on and you went to work, clearly, because you were pretty much the only holdover. So they get this whole, they ship out all your friends. Yep. I used to call you guys the light skin crew. I don't mm -hmm. know why they did that to y'all. Y'all was my favorite, so we're going to take that part out. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> so they, they, they ship out. Lonzo, you and he were very close. Um, yeah. Josh, uh, Brandon Ingram, people that you really um, shared a lot of time with in the locker room, and, and they and they keep you. How does that make you feel? Um, you know, I, I it motivates me. It motivates me for sure. Um, you know, to have an um, organization that kind of you know trusts you and believes in you. Um, you know, for me, that just motivates me more to you know get it done. Um, not only for what I want to do in my career, but, you know, for the organization because, you know, they think highly of me. So, um, you know, for me, I'm ready for it all. Were you surprised that you were the holdover? Um, surprised? No, not necessarily surprised. Um, but, you know, you can't really trade everybody. So it kind of would have been tough. So it's whatever. So you guys get Anthony Davis, your first reaction? Um, well, I was actually asleep when it happened, so my manager, he ran in my room, him over there. He ran into the room. We were in China, it was like 3.30 in the morning over there. He ran and started knocking and jumping on me, like <laughs> trying to sleep. But, you know, once I woke up, it was, you know, kind of sad at, at one point because, you know, obviously you lose your teammates, you know, the people you kind of grew with, came into the league with. But, you know, the second thought, you know, you got Anthony Davis and you know, he's one of the best players in the league you know, Hall of Famer, you know, obviously. So, you know, playing with another great player, that's, you know, I can't ask for much. So I've seen pictures of you and LeBron hanging out, working out together. Uh, what type of conversation do you have heading into this season? Um, you know, that dude's ready. He's ready. You know, um, you know, I think this year, this off season, you know, you see just people, you know, slandering his name and saying this about him, saying that, but, um, you know, he, he's been he's been super motivated this off season. You know, working. You know, between you know shooting movies and you know he's in the gym. He's in the gym early, night, whatever. So, um, you know, just you know, just being locked in. You know, that's the biggest thing talking about being ready for it all. So, being locked in is key because now the Lakers have to share the Staples Center with the Clippers. Nothing new, but. 
there's this buzz surrounding Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. So when you hear of that signing, what is your reaction? Um, it's super exciting. You know, this is one of the best years in the league. You know, the league's going to have in past years. You know, everything has kind of opened up, um, you know, and, you know, L.A. is the, the center of the basketball attention. You know, having the Clippers with Kawhi and Paul come there and then obviously what we have here, you know, it's, it's just going to be set up for, you know, some great battles, so. Were you like, oh, man, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm concerned? Uh, no, not at all. I you mean, were like, we got this. I mean, I love competition. I love competition. Um, you know, playing against great players, you know, that's you know, kind of what I like to do, but I'm not scared. I mean, we got, we got some players here too, so. What players, what players do the Lakers have that can um, compete, you think? Anthony, that LeBron guy? And LeBron. Yeah, yeah, I heard, okay. Yeah, those guys. Those yeah. guys. So I think they'll be, and, and you. Yeah, me too. How do you like your roster overall? Like, if you look at it, how do you like your roster? Um, you know, I, I, like, I like what we did. You know, we did a great job. Uh, kudos to Rob and Jeannie, um, you know, for putting that team together. And, um, you know, I, I think we're super versatile. You know, we can go big. You know, we have, we have perimeter defense. We have shooting. Um, you know, reversible on, de on defense and offense, too. So, you know, I think they did an you know, amazing job doing it. Last question. Uh, I saw the other day that James Harden said he had uh, created a new move, added it to his repertoire. What did you add to your offensive and defensive repertoire as we oh, have to look forward man. to this season? Uh, my shooting. That's the biggest thing. Uh, I didn't really shoot the ball well last year, um, like I wanted to. But uh, this year, you know, I kind of always had moves, but I didn't really know how to, you know, shoot out of those moves. So um, just learning that, those techniques, and, you know, it should be fun next year. Championship? Uh, we'll see. We gotta make the playoffs first. <laughs> playoffs. We gotta make the playoffs. That's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta do. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.